We are now heading into the world of personalized therapy for the treatment of urothelial cancer, with early evidence suggesting ertafitinib is a good drug targeting FGFR altered tumors. If you look at historical FGF altered um, alterations, they're found in about 15 to 20 percent of bladder cancers, and in a higher frequency in upper tract urothelial cancers. We also see a higher incidence in non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, so it probably plays a role in the development of urothelial cancer for a large number of patients. Ertafitinib is a pan-FGFR1 through 4 inhibitor, and it's a very good inhibitor of all four FGF receptors. So it really inhibits them quite well. The inhibitory concentration is in the single-digit nanomolar range. This is quite remarkable because if you look at the FGF targeting strategies that have been tested to date, all of them have had difficulties, especially in the, uh, in the development of clinical toxicity, with a lot of patients developing hyperphosphatemia, and as a result, many of the regimens used an intermittent dosing schedule. So when we were developing ertafitinib, we designed a clinical trial to compare an intermittent dosing schedule versus a continuous dosing schedule. Patients were randomized to 10 milligrams seven days on, seven days off, versus a continuous schedule of six milligrams daily dosing. After randomizing many patients, Looking at the data, we saw evidence of an improved toxicity profile and perhaps improved clinical activity with the use of a continuous dosing schedule. Additional modeling of the pharmacokinetics or how well these drugs behaved in patient circulation suggested we could actually increase the dose of ertafitinib. So as a final dose, we went up to eight milligrams PO daily dose, and we estimated half of patients could tolerate or may benefit from a nine milligram dose. So the trial allowed us to up titrate to nine milligrams after 14 days of treatment as long as the patient was tolerating therapy well and did not achieve hyperphosphatemia. The clinical trial uh, that we presented today are the phase two results from 99 patients treated at the optimal schedule, and the data appears quite promising. The objective response rate was 40%, so the trial did meet its primary endpoint, and the progression-free survival was five and a half months with a median survival of 13.8 months. So these are all considered very good results in this group of patients, and the treatment was very well tolerated as well, with mostly grade one and two toxicities. We also looked at how this treatment behaves in the immunologically cold tumor, because it's estimated that FGF receptor alterations are enriched in tumors that have low expression of immune markers. And when we looked at patients enrolled on the trial who received immune checkpoint inhibition, out of 22 patients, there was only res one responder to an immune checkpoint inhibitor. But the response rate to ertafitinib appeared quite good with a 50% or 58% objective response rate. So future work on this drug is going to be through a large phase three trial in multiple countries across the world. The goal of this trial is to address the question, is immunotherapy or an FGFR targeted therapy better in patients with FGFR alterations? So patients who have not received a prior immune checkpoint inhibitor will be randomized to ertafitinib or an immune checkpoint inhibitor. And if they have received prior immunotherapy, they can still go on trial, but will be randomized to a single agent taxane or vinflunine in Europe versus ertafitinib.